Like with Lupin the Third, Autumn slash Fall season, the end's return of Gundam. Like, okay, I guess the only Gundam I've actually seen that I want to watch since, like, 2008. That was the last time I watched a Gundam series. I mean, I'm going to say, oh yeah, I'm going to watch that. I think it was Double O that watched, was the last one I ever watched. And, yeah, so I've grown up watching in bursts Gundam. I like Gundam a lot. It's just one of those animes you can just sit down and watch and it can take your mind away from anything. And you can just see fighting robots for 25 minutes straight. Though all my life, I always called the white Gundam, always called, I always called it Gundam um, number one. I always called it because of Ava Unit 1, so it's called Gundam Unit 1. As forever, forever now on, I will name it Gundam Unit 1. So just in case, you're like, why does he call it that? It's because I used to call it this when I was a kid. But, no, I mean, yeah. I like... I like Gundam. This series, this series is kind of bring it back. I like it. It's also quite, it's mature. It's mature for its um, kind of art style, and yeah, it has the same quirks you see in Gundam. Even though, for me, it's more Gurren Lagann than it is Gundam. Like in my opinion, it's like it's geared more towards Gurren Lagann. Like with the, it has the whole Simone and guy, the guy who's my, uh, Kami. No, that's the guy's name. Simone and Kamina's like kind of dynamic is also like inside the two main characters in this anime, and it kind of they kind of work. I like them as as characters. Though I will say one thing does bug me slightly, it's the facial animation. For the actual tone of the anime, it doesn't really suit. I don't know. It's just I've seen Gun, I've seen Gun. They always have that childish kind of look to them. Like they they don't really look mature for what they are, but. This one kind of takes it to a new level. It kind of looks a bit too childish, in my opinion. Granted, it doesn't, it doesn't really take away. It just slightly bugs me in my brain. The only one is like small, quirk, small like problem that I have, I have right in my back of my brain. Like, do I like that or don't I like that? The rest of it's goddamn beautiful. It's, it Sunrise is Batman. I haven't seen Sunrise since Code Geass. Well, God, Sunrise has been there since Kintama, but Code Geass is the last one I actually ever watched. That's original, done by Sunrise. That's it, basically, yeah. I mean, would I say go and watch it? I would say go watch a different Gundam, see if you like it, then come back and watch this one, because without knowing much about Gundam, you're going to be lost, because there's a lot to take in. And the story, in my opinion, is taking place post-war. And it's kind of... Yeah, that's what I think. It's taking place post po post war, post war, and basically, yeah, we have that as a plot point. It's post war. Mars is now an inhabitable planet with no resources, and in the sky or space is these douchebags that want to take down Mars, basically. And that's what basically what the thing is. And also, I think this, I think they just want the um, Gundam Unit One as well. That's just how I see it. But I mean, if they if they bring back Duo's um, Gundam, I will be down. Because. Damn, that scythe, man. That was that, that. Those were the those were the days, man. But yeah, it has it even has a token blonde dude as well. It's always piloting in space. Every single Gundam I've ever watched ever since freaking Gundam Wing, there's always been a guy who's blonde in space. Always. There's never ever been one series that didn't have it. And yeah, but with all that said, I hope you guys enjoy. Go watch the anime. See what you see. Come back. Tell me what you think. And I will reply. See you guys then. Bye for now.